Falls were across the board on the share market, but among the biggest was A2 Milk, down 7% on news of a class action by shareholders. Disgruntled about four profit downgrades over nine months that resulted in the share price dropping 60%. The company said today it's done nothing wrong and will vigorously defend the case. But it should be very interesting. Are directors liable when things go wrong? And how fast must they confess? Apart from that, travel stocks caught some profit taking and banks, retailers and miners all fell. In contrast, global markets all went up, led by a 1% gain on Wall Street. Fossil fuels continued to soar, with a 7.7% jump by natural gas at the main distribution hub in Louisiana. And the Australian dollar ended up steady against the New Zealand dollar after falling sharply when the Kiwi Reserve Bank hiked interest rates by 0.25% and then it recovered all the way back again. The price of Australian carbon credit units has jumped again to $29.50. Now these things are turning into the hottest items in town, with companies that have signed up to net zero by 2050 scrambling to offset their emissions by buying them. Today's least surprising graph shows that retail spending in Melbourne and Sydney has been hit hard by the lockdowns. But this one's quite interesting. It's based on national data and shows that dining and takeaway are on the rise and replacing grocery shopping, which is getting back down to normal. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.